Right then, so this is the third bit for that first lesson, I think. Um, so I said that E, E is a special number that allows you to put the gradient function, the graph of the gradients, on top of the original graph. And that's really important for us. And like I said, we've got E to the X, which is just a power graph. That's pretty warm, and it's got an asymptote of Y is zero. And I've got E to the minus X, which is an exponential decay. Oops, it's not very curvy, that is it. Sorry. And that's also got uh, y is zero. So it must have been more curvy. Uh, my curviness isn't really on it through the minus graph, so there we go. Yeah, kind of. As long as it doesn't cross the axis, you're all right. Now, on these questions, there's, a, there's an I do, you do. So e to the 2x is, just looks like the same graph, crossing through 1 with an asymptote. But y is 0. Now you've got one told you that, which is e to the 5x. Same idea. Now it does ask you to state the asymptotes and intersections. Now there's additional information here that's given in the facts. Because that's a 2 to the x, that's a stretch. Parallel to the x-axis, scale back to a half. So this is kind of like you see what it looks like if you compare it to e to the x or, or e to the minus x as well. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So 10 lots of e to the x. So if you graph 10 lots of e to the you know that e to the x crosses at 1, but I've got 10 lots of it. It's going to cross at 10 now. I've still got that asymptote that y is 0. I've not moved it up or down. So that would be, if I was looking at that, moving it from y equals e to the x, that would be a stretch parallel to the y-axis. Let's go back to 10. And then there's one for you to have a go at, so hopefully you do that one, so that'll be a parallel to the y-axis scale factor 3. Uh, then I've got this one, this e to the x plus 2. So that would be, I'm replacing x with x plus 2. So that's going to be a translation of minus 2, 0. So I'm shifting everything to the left, 2. So I've still got that same idea, the graph's still going up. But this time it doesn't do it, it doesn't cross at 1. So what I need to think about then, okay then, is that x is 0, I would have y equals e squared, e to the power 2, because it's 0 plus 2. So that value there would be e squared. It would still have, oops, be really careful that, make sure it's an asymptote, it still has that asymptote there, that y is 0. So it just looks where it crosses the y-axis, so the y-intercept. There was one for you, so hopefully you've done that one. So the minus 3, so it's a translation, move it all to, to the right 3. So if you put in x is 0, you get e to the minus 3. You've got to be happy with these e's because we use them quite a lot. Let's have a look at the next page. So one more to do, and then we've got consolidation for the class. So remember these consolidations just work for the class. So e to the x plus 2. So you know that e to the x is an exponential growth where the asymptote is at y is 0. So this move up here of 2, this translation of 0 and 2, means I move the graph up. So instead of having an asymptote at 0, have an asymptote of 2. So it's shifted up by 2. So instead of crossing at 1, it now crosses at 3. There. So it's minus 2 for the asymptote. Yeah. There's one for you to have a go at, isn't there? Uh, let's have a look at that. Yeah. Whatever it was. That's e to the x plus 3 over 2, is it? I can't quite see things. From that one. So that's one and a half up. 
So that one there would be one and a half. Plus is at one and a half. So that would be five over two. Drawing down to it. Right, that's us done. Got loads of questions here to have a go at. Um, right, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.